Hey guys, this is another of our various training videos. This one's going to go through Zencaster. So we've been recommending Zencaster to a lot of people that have previously been using the Skype and Ecamm method to record interviews. Uh, Zencaster still records things on multiple tracks. And the, the big feature that, uh, that we prefer is, is that when you're talking over your guest at some times, you know, that's bound to happen. It doesn't cut out uh, the volume, which is it's known as ducking. It doesn't automatically do all that ducking that, um, that Skype does. So it kind of leaves us with a, a cleaner recording. So for the interviews that are done over the internet, it ends up being a little cleaner, a little easier to understand. So this is your Zencaster dashboard. Whenever you log in, you're going to see this. Just click create new episode. Episode name, let's just say episode 93. Why not? Wave recording is off. It's okay. Create, and then we'll open up a new spot here. Make sure I don't get any feedback. So it's um, the first time that you open a recording, it will ask for access through uh, whatever browser you're using. Um, so it, you should only have to do that once. And then once you get to a new recording, you should be able to change your settings. So right here. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the gear up at the top right will give you your audio settings. Audio input. Mine is the Motu Traveler. Uh, if you have the ATR2100, you'll see that listed. If you have an interface or a mixer, you'll see that listed. If you're just using your iPhone earbuds for whatever reason, you will see built-in microphone or built-in headphones. You can select that. Mine is the Motu. Output, again, you're going to see all those options. Uh, remember, if you select, for example, if you have the ATR2100, if you select the output for the ATR2100 as well, make sure your headphones are plugged into the bottom of the mic and not your computer. Just be aware of that difference. The monitor will allow you to hear your voice while you're recording. So Skype, usually if you have headphones on, especially if they're noise reducing headphones, you can't really hear yourself talk. This monitor will give you your own voice coming through your headphones. I prefer that, not everybody does, that's up to you. And the other things you can leave just fine. Save settings and you should see under your name, you can see I'm getting signal here. If I tap on the mic or if I get closer to the mic, you can see it's getting louder. Don't wanna get too loud to distort. So, and that's it, everything's ready to go. The next thing to do is just invite whoever your guest is. Click invite, send them a link, and make sure that they open it in Chrome or Firefox. Uh, Zencaster does not work in Safari currently. Once they're in, you'll see their name pop up here. Uh, there's a chat window, feel free to use that. And once uh, all your guests are in, you go ahead and just click start recording and you're good to go. Now you'll notice that right now I don't have a guest here, it's just me. This means that you can also, if you, uh, if you don't wanna use GarageBand or QuickTime or Audacity, you can open Zencaster and record solo episodes by yourself. You can see it's rolling right now. So if this is an easier platform for you to use and you kind of prefer it, feel free to do solo episodes in Zencaster as well. Once we stop recording, a, so it'll, it'll remind you not to close the browser yet because it's going to upload things. Okay, I'll wait. You can see the progress down at the bottom. You should have specified a Dropbox folder to save things to once you set up your account. So it's going to save it there. All your tracks have been uploaded. Now we're safe to close and you're good to go. Once it's in Dropbox, if we don't already have access to that folder, you can just share it to us. And that is all for Zencaster and you should be good to go.